I was talking to a guy one time. He was talking about hauling this big stuff like that. He said, uh, he said, you don't chain the item to the trailer. You chain the trailer to the item. Uh, so uh, I thought it was pretty interesting logic. Good morning. We took our 34 hour reset. Let's see here, how many hours have we been off duty? You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. So we've been off duty for 39 and a half hours. So we got a reset. We're in Ellisville, Florida. The load we're gonna go pick up is heavy. I told him I could scale 43,000. So, uh, I want to weigh the truck and see how much I weigh now that I am not carrying an extra 100 gallons of fuel. So, a while back, somebody recommended that I uh, download the CAP app scale. Or the CAP scale app. So I did, I have used it once since then. Let's see if I can, the scale is like right around that corner right there. So. Kinda, kinda jack it around here. So I got a half a tank of fuel, which is about 150 gallons. My water tank's about half full. So I just want to get an idea of how much we
decided to try to get loaded early today. My plans for tomorrow. They said I could come over here. It's Friday. <laughs> it is pouring down rain. I've been here two hours. I can't get mad because I'm early. I never loaded here. But it is pouring down rain. So I'm glad I'm not out there. I looked at the weather, it said it's going to last about two hours. Alright, let me make this quick here. We loaded steel plate. That's what we got. We got a chain on the front and the back. Looks like this. That's keep the plate from sliding forward on backwards. It's not really securement. It's just emergency stop. Keep it from moving around. We got five straps on here with edge protectors. There you go. We've got a total of about 40 40,000 pounds on the trailer. So I thought it was going to be a little heavier, but we're almost done. All right. Good morning. We got loaded yesterday. Uh, we got here. We're at Creek Travel Plaza. We only went about 30, 40 miles after we got loaded. It's a nice. It's a nice little truck stop. Bought some fuel yesterday. They had a good price on fuel. So truck's doing good. We're a little dirty because uh, over there with the steel, starting to haul that dirty steel, but. So our tarp job turned out actually turned out pretty good actually. So looks pretty good. Now when I haul this steel plate, I like to put my straps holding the plate down over the plate. I know uh, some guys put their strap over the plate, but are over the tarp. But uh, just for me, I like the straps over the metal and not the tarp hauling plate. So, but it's riding pretty good. It's right, it's not flopping up down too much. Dorsey trailer's looking good. Ended up at 40,000 pounds. Now, because we were so long, they had to split weigh it, meaning they weighed the tractor and then I pulled up and then just weighed the trailer. So they, weighed these group of axles and then they weighed that group of axles over there so give you a pan around uh saturday morning so we got actually we're a day ahead or about a half a day ahead we were supposed to load this morning but uh we're about a half a day ahead which is good so we're just gonna knock out a lot of miles today we got about a thousand miles up to uh davenport iowa Alright, we've ended up up here in Memphis, Tennessee. We just got off of I-55, we're getting on 240. And we're going to be crossing the Mississippi River here in just a bit. Had a pretty good day. did stop a while ago and uh, take my 30 minute break. Took Bailey out, had some lunch. And got about 100 miles to uh, where I want to go to in Missouri. So where I'm trying to get to is a big rest area. And Missouri's a welcome center. That'll put us about 450 miles from Walcott, Iowa. And that's where we're going to end up for tomorrow. See that big pyramid on the side there? That's the Bass Pro Shop. That used to be something else. I don't remember what it was. But that big pyramid now is the Bass Pro Shop. And we're getting ready to cross this bridge. This is the bridge, what was it, a couple years ago? It had a big crack in it and they closed 
closed it down and it was a whole big deal about how long had the been crack been there. And then right on the other side of this bridge is the way station for Arkansas. That's the Mississippi River right there. When we get over to Arkansas, we're going to get on 55 and take 55 north all the way up into St. Louis. bridge here. Here's the Arkansas state line. There's a way station. I don't know if it's open or closed. So you just heard that. That's the bypass. The bypass signal for my uh, pre-pass thing. So it said to bypass. If it's open, I can bypass. All right, it's the end of the day. Bailey's waiting for me to open the door. Uh, we made it to this big rest area over here in Missouri on I-55. Nice big rest area here. You see all the walking around and there's actually a trail. If you look over that way, there's a trail that goes around that way. So, me and Bailey, Bailey and I, are going to go out and get some exercise. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at our trailer, our load. I parked next to a big oversized load too, I'll show you guys that. I uh, drove 513 miles today. Got about 450 miles to go tomorrow. We're, our goal tomorrow is Walcott, Iowa at the world's largest truck stop. So we're going to get up there. So anyway, let's go outside. Ooh, it's a little humid out here. Oh, let's take a look at our Dorsey trailer. Look at this big thing. I think it's some kind of transformer, I believe. Oh, our steel plate's doing good. So we got about, I think I told you guys, we've got about 40,000 pounds on here. With that steel plate all the way the length of the trailer, the trailer rides good. So uh, the suspension rides good. My poor truck wash is all messed up, but everything else is looking good. Here we'll go take a look at this thing here. I don't think this thing is going to go anywhere by the time I leave in the morning. I don't think I'm in the way. If I do, I'll move. But I have a feeling this thing's gonna be here for a while. So, I was talking to a guy one time. He was talking about hauling this big stuff like that. He said, uh, "He said you don't chain the item to the trailer. You chain the trailer to the item." Uh, so uh, I thought it was pretty interesting logic. But, uh, I mean, you still have to have the right amount of securement and everything, but. So, uh, this little thing here, I don't know anything about these trailers. <laughs> Too much how they operate. But, I think this thing's been here a couple days. Oh, man, check our trailer out. Tarp job's doing good. I'm kind of proud of my tarp job. So, everything's looking good. All right, we'll call it quits for today.